Good morning. Happy Sunday. I woke up kind of in a sour mood today. Is it because I kept you up all night with my snoring? Oh, no. <laughs> yes, you heard that right. Deb is sick again. Hundred. She had a hundred point four. Seven. Hundred point seven fever. Really doesn't make any difference. Yes, it does. <laughs> sister is a physician so we went over there last night because she said you know she could possibly have strep because her throat hurts worse than it's ever so hurt bad. and the fever and that's pretty much all she has did you have body aches yesterday no just chills just chills probably from the fever and or she said it could be the new strain of flu going around yay so I'm trying my hardest not to get it. Taking extra vitamin C. I'm taking those vitamin C packs with the zinc. I got so many nice emails um, regarding the newsletter that went out. Responses to the email. Um, and I appreciate it. If I'll put the link here if you guys want to sign up. We do fun things for only newsletter people sometimes we did this week you won't obviously get today's but you will get them starting next week so I'll put that link here we have several things we're going to share today um, number one Deb has been organizing um, lots of different spaces so we are going to share some of our organizational things she did such a good job so I want to share I haven't shared shared that um, number two, I think I'm going to decorate a little space, like a little coffee area here in my kitchen, and I will share that. Speaking of coffee, Deb just made iced coffee. Oh my gosh, out of that cold brew. Let me show you. It's so delicious. This is the best. It's the bold and smooth, I don't know if you say that, stoke cold brew coffee. It is so delicious. And then we use some type of sweetener in it. I was discussing my hormones earlier. I mentioned it. Um, several people told me that when they had COVID there, everything was messed up. So that could probably, that makes sense because it's just started. Um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, check my hormone highlight. I think it's still there. Um, we need to take our test. We want to do that this week. We have another test to send in. I think we're going to do it tomorrow to check them again now that we've been doing our regimen. Also coming up this week, I shared um, Amazon favorites a couple weeks ago and I got so many messages saying that you love that and to do that again. I'm going to do that again this week. I'm going to link next what I shared the last time. got an email yesterday from Navy Hair Care. If you spend $50, you get the treatment serum that I swear by that I will talk to you here in a bit about, but you can use my code as well to get 30% off. I'm going to put the link here for you guys to grab it and then I'll be back. wondering what products that uh, you should buy for your $50 I highly I'm going to show you a few that I recommend highly recommend the search and rescue shampoo and conditioner I've used this for years it has rosemary oil and a bunch of vitamins the shampoo and conditioner smells so good um, as you can see they come in a couple different sizes um, promotes hair growth I love them DND for 30% off is the treatment serum it has um, coconut oil and biotin and promotes hair growth and also helps keep the hair that you have um, a lot stronger I'm going to try to find a before picture I always get asked too about the uh, treatment serum and how much you put on I just usually put on about a dime size every time I wash my hair and I massage it in my roots and then pull it through also have another product that I use um, every time I curl my hair it's the skipper hairspray 
If I put, this is kind of a little tip, if I put a little spray in it before I use my curling iron, it holds it a lot longer. Now that I have all of my hair curled back, I just did it really quick with a curling iron and then I usually just take the ends and do this. I had a couple people ask how I do this, so I just squeeze this in here. Then I take the uh, Pebble Beach Spray, I'm almost out, I think we have more, and run my fingers through it first. My hair is completely cooled and then I add a bunch of texture in it with this. She's rolling on her towel. It's her favorite thing to do ever. You gotta see this. <laughs> this is getting ready to be washed and she just put her scent all over it. Pebble Beach Spray is one of my favorite products. It adds so much texture. You know the first day one hair that it feels like too soft, this is the perfect solution for that. Again, make sure that you grab that treatment serum because you get it for free for spending $50. Um, I'll put my link here and my code is DND so you will get 30% off as well. Remember this song? Ooh, any day now, I'll be Kept laughing at me. <laughs> we just made this chili that I shared the other day. Um, I've shared it so many times. It is so delicious. It's a completely different way. You don't put tomato um, sauce in it. You just use salsa. I'll link the post. A couple of people asked what station I was listening to. I'm listening to Spotify and this is what it looks like. Soft Rock Drive. It is so good. This song. Look what I just found in a drawer. Do you know what these are? I'm curious to know how many people know what these are. I had this idea that I wanted to make a little heart um, just on a board, make it really distressed to make it look old. So I'm using my Cricut to do that made this little board for me. I'll show you a close up, but this is going to be part of my little decor thing that I'm doing. Um, and all I did was just cut out this big heart and then I'm going to paint it and sand it and I'll show you. It's my Cricut so many times. Um, I made like an address sign for out front. We made the grandson some shirts. You can do so much with this. This, you can either lay it on there, trace around it and paint it, or you can use this part and stencil. And I think, I don't know what I'm gonna do. What would be easier? Burn it. <laughs> Decided to do it this way, and I'm going to use Fusion Mineral. I can get it turned around in raw silk. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So I just kind of pulled the paint from the sides in so it wouldn't seep under it. Um, and then I'm gonna let this dry and sand it so it makes it a little more rustic. Okay, next I'm going to lay this on here and then I'm going to draw around it with that just so it gives it a little bit more definition. Okay, that is done and I'm going to quick style it with what I'm thinking, um, just like this little Valentine corner and then I will show you. my little neutral Valentine's Day area turned out. Um, I realize a lot of you don't like all of this clutter and that's okay. I like my spaces full. Um, this probably won't stay there. I just put this in here because I like the way this looks all together. Um, but I thought I would give you a close up of everything and um, link anything that I can. You can get um, Cricut machines at Walmart. I don't know if you guys knew that, but I found a couple that were 
um, great deal. Some come with a lot of extras, but I link them all. I'm gonna put them here in the link on the screen. When I decorate a space here. I like to put like a backdrop up behind there, and this is what I had in mind. It's simple, it's neutral. Um, you could use a picture in a frame, a stack of cutting boards, etc. Anytime that I find any artificial plants that look real, I like to share because I can't handle real. I, I've tried everything. <laughs> I've given up. So I'm going to link this one here. I love this one. I've had it a couple I think I said this earlier, but all of what I could link is in the link that I'm putting on the screen. These are the plates that we use so much. They're excellent quality. And I've shared this uh, cake plate a million times. It is in my decor all the time. You can put this on your table, put real cookies in here and display them on, this is a fake cake, but put real cookies in here and display them on your kitchen island. You can use the dome, I've used the dome by itself. I have used this by itself. I had a Christmas tree setting on this um, over the holidays. So all of everything that I can link is here in this link. I've had people ask about these hearts. If they are available, I'll um, put the link here on the screen. They're like wool or felt or something, but they are in. This is an antique. We got this when we went on a trip somewhere. I can't remember where. It was at an antique mall and I believe it is an insulator. An old insulator from like an electrical post. Then again, I might be make, making this up, but I really think that's what it is. Last time I shared this little cutting board, I had tons of people ask. It's a really good one. It's got the little, um, whatever these are, they're not felt, but they're the protectors on the bottom. So it does not scratch your countertop. It's really thick. It's excellent quality. I think it just gives such great texture. If this is available, I will pull the link, um, but I wanted to show you guys this close up. I just came in here to uh, take off my makeup and I saw that my PMD beauty code is still active for the Clean Pro. This is my absolute favorite beauty. I was gonna say, one side has the bristles for cleaning your face. The other side has a rose quartz. When turned on, it heats up and it helps your skincare penetrate into your skin. I'm going to put my code here and my link.